back to the podcast. I am your host, Mr. Madeover. And I am Mrs. Madeover. And today, we are going to body slam you with some stuff today. <laughs> we, gonna, <laughs> we are going to lock you up today. <laughs> you going to tap out sometimes. So today, we have a special guest who's known for, um, as we can say, uh, delivering pain. <laughs> <laughs> in such a excruciating way. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we do have, I'm going to let my wife introduce this one. <laughs> well, guys, so on today's podcast, we have my other daughter, uh-huh. the one that will rough you up, the one who takes no mess. Mm-hmm. She will pin you if you get wrong. Get None it. other than the Sam Scarborough. Herself. <laughs> wow. Straight out of Harris County High School. Boom. Oh, oh. She's going to be teaching my daughters these moves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I want her to fly. Uh, we need videotape. We need, her. No, we have videotape. Not don't worry. Hurry yeah. to fly. Uh-huh. So yeah. we're going to post that too. Somewhere yeah. in between a clip, yeah. Yeah, a clip uh-huh. of her really yes. um, not hurting to fly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have my wife start this off with the questions. Oh, wow. I know, right? I'm, wow, so, I'm so surprised. Because I mean, she body slams. I'm scared. <laughs> so you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, we first want to start out um, with Sam. Can you just tell us um, just a little bit about yourself? Okay. Well, I'm 17. I go to Harris County High School. I have been wrestling since my freshman year, and I'm a senior now. Um, we just got, we just concluded our wrestling season, so I'm I signed to Life University to continue wrestling in college, Ooh. and that'll be really, really fun. Hopefully, <laughs> um, I don't know. We we just kind of have been working really hard for the past few years to mm-hmm. continue wrestling. Yeah, I mean, out of all the sports in the world, <laughs> this is what I have to ask. Out of all. Those sports in the world, basketball, football, tennis. Why did you choose to put somebody in a headlock? (laughs) Why wrestling? Explain that. Okay. Well, I grew up an athlete doing pretty much almost every single sport you can think of. Mm -hmm. I cheered. I did basketball cheer. I did gymnastics, softball, baseball, t-ball, dance. Wow. Um, Pretty much most most of your sports that you see kids in, I've done it. Mm -hmm. But, like, I mean, I was good at them, but I didn't really – want to continue doing them i even played volleyball we're not going to talk about that because i'm short okay all right all right (laughs) (laughs) Um, but i wanted to get into self-defense because i was tired of dad beating me up all the time i was like "Mm -mm, not anymore (laughs) get locked up (laughs) pin dad down now (laughs) who you put on punishment I got into jujitsu. Wow! And I did that for a few years. I was a state, a, like a two-time state champ at that, and then I think a three-time state runner-up and a weight class of weight class up. And so then I want to do a school sport, but of course there's no jitsu at school, so the closest crossover was wrestling. Wow! So you really know how to break somebody down, is what you're saying. If, if it came to that. <laughs> just, she said just a little bit. Just a little bit. Watch some people who do this. Well, just a little it's bit. Like Jet Lee for real. <laughs> wow. So out of the four years you have been wrestling, what has been the most challenging part? Mm. Um just staying in the gym, staying healthy, like wrestling. Is not just a sport, it's a lifestyle. And if Ooh. you don't commit to that lifestyle, you're not going to be good at the sport. Wow. Take that. that I mean, that's yeah. a nugget drop yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, Man, that's a uh, 
suplex. <laughs> so that means if you want to wrestle, you you need. But to. I think that can also go in life. You yeah. Know? Like like that that that's something that can echo throughout the mm-hmm. future. Uh, whatever you do, um, and for me, this to to see because this is a male dominant sport. <laughs> Like, yeah. And you're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. You know, like. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but actually, women's wrestling is the fastest growing sport in the United States at the moment. Wow. Mm. Wow. We didn't know that. Message. I'm so, um, you, you ain't wrestling? Somebody like Sam pin me, I'm going to be tapping out. <laughs> Help. Stop. Okay, I Just got it. Just call Sam and tag. <laughs> tag. tag. <laughs> no. There's no tap outs in wrestling. <laughs> no tags out. Oh, man. Wow. So would you ever uh, take it to the, uh, the, 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 the wrestling arena? Like, w- I know you have WWE. You have, uh, what's the other one? Um, AEW You're, now. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah. of arenas like that. Do you see yourself in that arena? I don't. After college, I kind of want to put away my wrestling shoes. And if I get back into it, I'd want to coach. Okay. I don't mm. want to continue after college. Okay. So you want to teach somebody else how to massacre somebody? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> say, say yeah. <laughs> oh, well, gosh. pass this skill along. My dog even, will be even signing at this up. Point, um, the boys on my wrestling team call me Coach Sam because if our coaches can't make it to their corner, that's where I'm at. Wow. Wow. So tell us about your favorite match. Ooh. My favorite match? Like, uh huh. Wrestling. Yeah. The last one I've wrestled, which was the one for my state title. Yeah, it it was the only match all season where it did like it went all three periods. Every uh, other match that I wrestled this season, I either pinned them or they pinned me. Wow! Mm. So this was my first match all season to go six minutes. Not only did it go six minutes, but we had to go into overtime because we were tied at the end of like at the end of the match, mm-hmm. and I had to win. And overtime, which means I had to get a takedown to win. So that must have really pushed you. What's sad is that she didn't really push me that much. I got caught in the first period and had to come back. Okay. She said, well, you know, she didn't push me. I I, I, I mean, she did. She was good. It was just that I did something stupid first period and had to come Uh. back from it. Okay. But it's good you know that, though. You you, you know that, okay, I was playing around with my food, but this time I'm going to eat the, <laughs> the food off the plate this time. She's going to eat the chicken. <laughs> Everything must go off this plate yeah. today. Wow. So uh, what was your most challenging match? That same match. That same okay, match. so what's yeah. good and challenging? Yeah. Let's start there. Wow. Wow. I can't. Wow. So... Now, tell the people mm. that are listening, mm. how are you pinning these boys down, though? Because we watched the match, and you had this boy. He was just flopping around like a fish, like he just got tired. So how has it been having to compete against being a, a, a woman in wrestling, mm-hmm. having to compete against, you know, young men? Well... So I started off wrestling 126 and I was a twig. The boys were twigs. And <laughs> sorry boys. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was just all around kind of a more even matchup. But as I continued wrestling, I learned more so how to compete with people who are stronger than me, who are wow. faster than me, or just okay. all around more athletic. Mm-hmm. Um and I come from a more technical standpoint, so everything I do is very technical, while some of these boys are just outright brute strength. Gotcha. And so this season, I wrestled 152 most of, most of the season. So that's about the time whenever the boys turn to men. Mm. <laughs> like, they're no longer the scrawny little, like, yeah. impact You're also. wrestling boys with some muscle mass at this point. But... They use that muscle mass, and so if you have the right technique, 
and the right mindset going into a match, it doesn't take much to put them on their back. Wow. I mean, I think you are proven in so many different ways that uh, don't cross me first. (laughs) That's first and foremost. Let's get that out there. Um, uh, Two, it's crazy to hear you say that uh, I'm a technical wrestler. Yeah. Because for me, it's like, okay, you're using more mental Mm -hmm. than anything. Mm -hmm. It's like you're using that brute strength against them. Or okay, or, you know they they're about tired now. Yeah, <laughs> they only got a good two to three minutes of you mm-hmm. know scuffling them. So right. now it's time to take them down. Sometimes, Sometimes even if they're, they're better, better than you, like, like in the, the first, first little bit, if you outlast, like if you keep going throughout, throughout the match, match, you can come back and beat them. Okay. Mm. What what put you in that mind state that you know? First of all. Knowing that a person is stronger than you, to outsmart them, outwit them, like what that that's a different type of thinking. Cause I'm sure when they look at you, they like, yeah, easy match mm-hmm. today. Hey y'all, get ready. She's just a girl. <laughs> She's just a girl. We got this one. I don't I don't know about that. Sometimes I walk into the gym and I see the boys like roll their eyes, like, here we go again. Oh snap. So you so so you come in with some clout. So they know when they see you, it's on. Pretty much. Yeah. So what you're saying is, <laughs> it's the opposite way. You're saying, oh, here we go here again. We go. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's just go ahead and get this over. Another match. I've had, like, I've had boys after I beat them, they walk off the mat crying. And then I've had times where the other team wouldn't let those boys sit back on the bench with them after I beat them. Wow. Oh wow! So Crying. you so you sending people home upset and in trouble? <laughs> it, it's just it from the crew now. Oh man! No, no, you can't sit with us, man. No, <laughs> you just got to be by a girl. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm impressed. I feel like uh, that's their first mistake, though, is that being like you just got beat by a girl because more often than not you're gonna get beat by a girl, like. The girls that survive in wrestling are the ones that are really committed to the sport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if they're, if they're making it this far, there's a good chance you're getting beat. You, you, you better <laughs> Just, give them everything you got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So so uh, what I would tell the guys who see, who, who look across the mat, mat and then see a, 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 a lady, you better give her everything. You, you, <laughs> You better <laughs> take out all, all the tricks and don't take it. it easy. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You have to win that match, you got to work for it. Wow. So, Sam, what kind of? And, and you just said like you got to work for it. So, what type of work have you had to put in to become a state champ? Yeah. Uh, in the gym every day working out but not just that but you have to push yourself to practice every day to the point of exhaustion hmm. i don't walk up that mad exhausted i didn't do practice right wow wow if me and my partner are not both dressed and sweat walking off that mat thinking i don't want to be here again tomorrow we didn't do it right wow like you have to put in more work than the person you're stepping across the mat from and to be there, you can't you can't slack off. Mm. Wow, like dedication. I think adults should be listening. Listen, if you're an adult, listen. <laughs> take some advice from Sam. Take some advice from Sam. Because clearly, she got it figured out at this the young age. A uh, seventeen. Like, like I mean, like she's she's <laughs> dropping nuggets on y'all. She is. I mean, she is body slamming y'all. She's locking y'all up. And like, you can't tap. Up. This is like <laughs> this, this is life right introduction right, right here. Wow. I, I mean impressed. I'm 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 very impressed. Sam, certainly, uh, certainly. Because number one, you have a mind mm-hmm. as I would say is a one percenter. Like nobody thinks like that. Mm-hmm. Nobody thinks of, um, you know, when they look at a challenge, they just say, you know, I'm just gonna roll over and let it defeat me. <laughs> Right. Not you. Right. <laughs> Sounds like all right, let's go. Let's go, Randy. challenge. <laughs> right. 
Right. Wow. So what can you tell young women like yourself, even younger, like mm -hmm. my daughters and stuff, so you train them. But what can you tell them, those who are trying to make it in this same field that you are in, and and give them the, the ups and downs, give them the highs and the lows of, you know, encourage them on their way as far as different other stuff. And a lot of wrestling is that you're gonna feel you're gonna have days where you don't wanna be there. You're gonna have those days where you don't wanna you don't wanna get back up off the mat once you've been slammed. You don't wanna do another rep. Your coach is screaming at you. You and every time you push through those days is a mental victory. Every single little victory builds up. You see a lot of people look at the, like the, the people who are successful and they're like, I want to be like that. But they don't want to put in the work to get there. Mm -hmm. But the reason that person is so, is so successful because of all those little victories they went through getting over those hardships that they didn't want to go through. Mm -hmm. If you give up after the first little incident, you're not going to make it. You're not going to achieve those goals you set. So take everything one step at a time and build up. Wow. <laughs> we like, I am like grit, perseverance, away. determination, like all of those things is all I keep hearing from, from, from what you're putting out there, Sam, is just, you have to have that growth mindset. You have to be, um, in the mind to persevere, no matter what it looks like, how it sounds, what it feels like you have to keep pushing. The, the idea behind you said you can't, there's no tapping out. So that means you have to continue to push through, even if you like want to give up. Like, I'm yeah. not just going to lay there. So I still have to push forward and do something. Yeah. And I think it's that's pretty so much good. keep wrestling or get pinned. Ooh, that's and the, getting pinned pretty much either means you give, like you gave up or you just got stuck. Hmm. Like there's no in between. Well, I'd rather get stuck. I don't want to just give up and be paying. Let me just get stuck there. Giving up is for suckers. Yeah, I'm willing. Well, <laughs> but wow. I mean, but it's true. You know, everything that you are speaking, I hope people take this in life too. Mm -hmm. Like, don't let life pin you. Like, yeah. like, whatever the circumstances is, like, take each win and catapult off that. Right. I don't know. You sound like a motivational speaker yeah. to me, huh? <laughs> and I think, in this, and I think too, if you get pinned, because you just said it's either giving up or get stuck. But if you get stuck and you manage to get pinned, now you just know what you need to do for the next obstacle that comes. Yeah. Or in exactly. Sam's time, the next I, match. I lost four times this season, and I got pinned in each of those matches. One match, okay, This I had a match against my own teammate, and he's on our national team, state placer, really, really good kid. And my coach literally just looked at us and he was like, don't hurt each other. So I knew, he, like, we, we were in the same weight class and he's better than me. We know that. So instead of us going out there and, like, beating the crap out of each other, I, like, literally looked at him and was like, hey, you don't waste your energy. I don't waste mine. I let him pin me in the first, like, 30 seconds. And we moved on with our day. So that was one loss. But the other mm. three, um, I got stuck. Like, I didn't give up on the match. Mm -hmm. I got stuck in a bad situation and couldn't get out. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's but the good. same thing applies for some of my opponents is I stuck them in bad situations and they couldn't get out. Mm. Gotcha. Wow. Do you know your wins and losses? I was... 26 and 4 this season. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and wow. finished out as the state champ. Man. Wow. Take no rock. No, no. Okay, I'm not, I'm not taking shots at <laughs> Do Rock. Do not do that at him. Not Dwayne. He just, he just came out with a show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Sam, is, um, is it anybody that you want to like give thanks to or, or, or show appreciation to that help you get from, um, you know, from freshman year up to now state champ yeah. moving on to life university to wrestle in college? Okay. Well, I've had a lot of coaches over the past few years, mm -hmm. but 
but starting out, I was at Icon, um, Stephen Flournoy, great, has been in these past four years, I continue to do travel wrestling with him. Okay. Um, and then high school wise, I have had quite a few coaches, but my freshman year, there's this older coach who was there, his, his name was Gary Zerner. Um, he passed away last year oh. due to pancreatic cancer. Um, but while he was with us, he was my favorite coach that I've ever had. We'd, I'd walk into the gym every day and he'd yell, hey, favorite wrestler. And I'd yell, hey, favorite coach. <laughs> like, literally love this man. And, like, he was an old coach. He was not, like, he was not being paid to be there. He was there because he loved us and the wow. sport of wrestling. Mm. And so when he passed away, it kind of hit all of us really hard. But before he left, we made a mat that was dedicated to him. And on that mat was a list of all of the wrestlers that he coached that won state championships. Wow. And he said that, like... Any, any of the other kids that he coached even after he died like any of us that he coached until like if we won a state championship before we graduated we would get our name on his map and so when I won my state championship that was wow name on the map really. wow that is, good that is amazing Man. that is good um Wow. I, I'm, I'm speaking. Well, I'm not speaking. <laughs> I was just something to say. You did. Uh, but I'm definitely impressed yeah. of your character, mm -hmm. number one, uh, and your uh, your zeal, mm -hmm. number two, uh, your way of locking people up, number three, um, <laughs> forever need a protector, I'm going to call you. Uh, <laughs> Say, I'm going to be the bodyguard. Yeah, I'm saying, put you on the payroll. Oh, my goodness. Lock them up. <laughs> Pan them. But first of all, we want to thank you for yes. uh, coming through. And I know, you know, with you having, you know, being state champion, I know a, a champion has so many different things to do at such a young age. And uh, we don't want to keep you any longer because I know you got stuff to do. You know, uh, still got school, still yeah. got, you know, bodies to catch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But um, we do appreciate you yes, for coming out. And uh, wife, do you want to say anything? I'm just impressed, Sam. Like, you know, <laughs> just um, I think the mindset, the mindset yeah. that you have is something that I hope that our listeners, no matter the age, grasp it. Yeah. Because at 17, you already have the mindset that's going to take you from now as a teenager through life. Yeah. As long as you stay on that, you know, on that track. And I know your mama and your daddy don't play. So you have no choice. But to I, I sure hope it does. I mean, I feel like if I put in all this work and like it doesn't pay off, what am I doing? Yeah. Ultra, it'll and it off. will it will um so i say to you congratulations on um you know state championship for harris county congratulations for being put on your favorite coaches matt yeah um and and signing uh your upcoming signing for life university mm -hmm. so we we have you we are supporting you 100 percent um, your mom knows that and we're now telling you that whatever you need from us let when you go on to life know. please let us know and yeah. we are here to support and if you want to write a book and call it pen but not pen <laughs> pen but not pen you just got stuck <laughs> at the end of the day and there's no tapping wanna, out <laughs> we want to support you in this book deal yes. uh, <laughs> it is a good book deal though. Uh, <laughs> but like we always say around right about this time yes. Keep God first. And the rest will be added. As a matter of fact, don't get stuck. Don't. And there's no <laughs> tapping out in wrestling. <laughs> and life too. Yes. And we out. <laughs> wow.
talking about. I wouldn't hurt a fly. 